Oh boy. Okay, disengage. Disengage. Two versus two in the new matchmaking of the BFME 1 online arena on the patch 2.22. On the map Vault 2.22, which has been reworked, rebalanced to make it more, you know, equal for both the teams. And my ally is noob for life, hopefully not. You know, it would be kind of embarrassing if I lose. <laughs> versus Jazz and Broken Mouse, okay? The matchup is Rohan Isengard versus Mordor Isengard. Wish me the best of luck, boys, because I might need it, okay? So my ally is Rohan, that's pretty good. But we are against Mordor. Mordor is very strong on these big maps. And my direct opponent on the bottom right is... I want, I want this mill, actually. Give me the mill. Okay. My direct opponent on the bottom right side is also Isengard. And the plan is to attack him. <laughs> I hope so, my friend. I hope you are not a noob for life, you know. So there is no settlement anymore. We removed it. So now every player is starting with three farms instead of four. The bottom left corner was actually the best spot in the original map vault. But this has been rebalanced, boys. Okay. And hopefully you guys will also give it a shot. Download the launcher in the description down below. And join us in the adventure of ruling the middle earth together okay maybe we can play some 2v2s 3v3s 4v4s together would be dope so give it a shot download it get the launcher make an account and boom bibbidi babbidi boom we are also in the matchmaking oh my god there is a creep <laughs> i forgot dude <laughs> i'm so rusty boys you know i'm so rusty all right let's go to this location maybe there we go we will be capturing this when, when once we have enough money for it. We will build a slaughterhouse here. And use my Uruks to defend. Deny him from capturing this settlement, okay? I mean, our opening was not the greatest. We are kind of broke. It's, you know, we are maybe the broken mouse. We are against broken mouse, but we have broken eco. Let's capture this one and keep chasing those Uruks, shall we? Oh, there is also a creep, dude. <laughs> you can see and tell I haven't played this map since ages, okay? Let's get this one. Beautiful. Alright. Keep pressuring all the time, non-stop. And keep chasing also. I wish I could have enough money to capture this one, but I don't have it. And I will also capture this one first, which is gonna be, I believe, a bit safer. He has also Uruks up on the field. But I believe his eco is not going to be the greatest either. So we can actually punish him. We have almost Warchan available in about a minute. It would be great if we can destroy the Uruk pit from him, you know? But he's also coming to me, man. He's also coming to me, man. Okay, boys. Base race. Who is going to win this one? I need to tower up. I actually want to reclaim the settlement, you know, that's more important. We have almost the war chant. Once we have the war chant, I will attempt to destroy the Orphank. Okay, the Urukpit is going to be a gunner, that's good. He will be building one tower, which we can definitely destroy. I'm going to go on it. Cancel this to get the money back. And Warchant. Beautiful. Okay. Now we are talking. I'm going to go for the for the Citadel, okay? That's my plan. And if he doesn't demolish the structure, I will get level 2 out of that. It's going to be even better for me because I will deal more damage. But we are also losing everything in the castle, man. <laughs> Holy, this is so bad for us. Okay. It would be amazing if we can destroy it. Let's recapture the settlement, shall we? I mean, if I destroy this, it's gonna be big, but it's not over yet because he has still outside settlements and I'm also very broke. And he has two Uruks I gotta be dealing with very, very soon. Let's build one more tower just to feel a bit more safe. It looks like we will be able to destroy this. That's good. That's gonna cost him 1200 actually to rebuild it, you know? And I believe he doesn't have the money just yet. So it should give us some sort of advantages. And he might need the help of his ally. My ally top right, from the minimap I can see, is not doing super nice yet. And I'm afraid that Mordor is going to be a monster, which will be quite hard to be stopped. But we shall see. 
We are so broke. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have mine. I don't have. I just use for myself. There was a, like a very intense one you wanted the bottom side. No help required from my ally. No help from his ally either. It was a pure one you one We can fight this maybe. I'm level 2. That's good. Let's destroy the Uruks. Get more workers. And also we need Uruk pit now as soon as possible. But I think we need to build like a couple of more furnaces before that, you know? A furnace would be not too bad. Okay, he's using war chant. We need to disengage now. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go here. One more furnace to boost up the eco a bit. Oh, he got level 2, man. But I also got level 2, but I think his Uruks are a bit more healthy than mine. Dude, I don't know if he has good eco or not. But we need to reclaim the settlements. That's very important. We need some horses here to deal with this, you know? Because the opponent Mordor is also sending orcs to his ally. Ah, Save the level 2. Okay, we have two furnaces and one Uruk pit. <laughs> I'm so poor, man. Holy. Okay, let's put them on the aggress uh, defensive stand so they don't automatically engage on anybody. We will have to wait until they recover. That's the beautiful part. If your units are level 2 or higher, they can heal themselves over time. We need to shut down this Aizen, you know. Oh, he's coming, boys. He's coming. Let's go away from this. And try to reclaim some eco. The orcs are also here. Oh my god. Let me get cheesy. I mean, I... I I don't think we have that much time, my friend, because I'm afraid that by the time we are ready to go, Mordor will have a Nazgul. And from the minimap, you can see Mordor has untouched settlements, and that's a danger zone, you know? You don't want this to happen. We need more Uruks, boys. I don't know if you can deal with this level 3 Uruk, man. He's so strong, you know? But I need to kind of stop him from capturing the settlement. We need to keep him checked because we dealt a great amount of economical damage to him and we don't want to give him the chance to recover from this, okay? Industry gonna be quite helpful for sure. We have two level 2 Uruks, we can combine them later on with the combos. And <laughs> we are losing this so hard. I think I need Berserk or something, you know? But land, that's good, I don't. I don't have a land yet. Destroy them all. Uruks. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. I want to creep this with this level 2 and with this level 1. Having additional settlement is always great. I like that one. Get this and get there. Oh, he even used War Chant. It's good for us because I will be ready very soon, I'm, I'm assuming. It's just a giant map, you know? A giant map. We need some berserkers to deal with this Uruk level 3 or almost level 4 actually. Get the money? I can't. I can't. I wait a bit. Wait a bit. I mean, how many workers are repairing this? Did you see this, guys? <laughs> he has like 25,000 workers repairing the lumber mill. Okay, I need pikemen. Because what you can do is you can combine your pikemen with your uruks. And the good part about this is 
they will also receive upgrade so we will have to give them oh here's um okay here's war tithers there so i'm gonna go with the bleeds and also heavy armor should be able to win this fight with my uruk with my berserker against the uruks my ally is also very strong army let's capture this one destroy this one okay my ally has glorious charge it's good That's good, that's good, that's good. And our eco is going to also look very good very, very soon, okay? So now we need to, you know, find a target. I believe the healthiest target for us would be <laughs> the Isengard player. Um, because the Eisen, he's hurt. I'm afraid to go for Mordor because I believe he's very rich. I didn't see any trolls yet on the field. So I wouldn't be too surprised if you will see a Nazgul very, very soon. I think he has great eco. My god, man, just make peasants, bro. <laughs> just make peasants, you know? Why you why you want me to send Zerkers all the way up there, you know? Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. We have two combos. We will combine them later on, because when we combine them now, they will lose movement speed. And we don't want this to happen. Map control is the key to victory, boys. Okay. So once we combine the Uruks with the... Watch this. Boom. Boom. They have also upgrades now, you see? It's very cost-efficient combo. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's see how much damage we can deal, actually, to him. Because his War Riders don't have upgrades yet. They can't really commit to our combos, you know? Our combos are very strong. Unless there are trolls or a Nazgul we need to deal with, I think this push can be devastating for the enemy team. Nice. -o. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Here's some rune soldiers here. I'm gonna use industry. Oh, I also wanna get the outpost there actually. Hold on. Oh, he even has a Witch King, man? And we have nothing that can shoot. Now we need to just commit, I think, you know? Just commit to it. Deal with the Orcs, please. Get there. Just destroy as many strikes as possible. We need to get to Freezing Rain as soon as possible. That's also very important. I mean, the enemy has some combos, I can see. It's two combos, but I think we destroyed the Uruk pit, so he was not able to recruit any pikemen. And even with this much leadership, he needs pikemen to deal with the Rohirrim with the glorious charge, you know? I want to get this outpost, build more furnaces, because we are pressure under pressure non-stop. The orcs are everywhere. And we need to deal with them. And berserkers are a good way to deal with this. But my ally has not even an Eowyn, man. I think my ally is also poor. He has like zero settlements outside. For whatever reason. <laughs> I don't I don't know about that one, you know? Let's go there. Destroy this, please. Nice, we did it, boys. Okay, nice. Beautiful. Yeah, but the problem is I can't go there, man. It's too far away from me, bro. You just need to make you just need to make towers and uh, you know Eowyn. Not not GG. How is he so rich? How is he so rich, man? Don't quit. It's not over yet. We, we got this game, man. Come on. Don't call it GG. The problem is I have no Lourdes leadership, you know? I wish I had Lourdes leadership so I can, you know, my combos can hit harder. Because without Lourdes leadership, we will have only theory leadership, you know? And I don't think it's gonna be enough because I'm afraid that my ally is very broke, that he can't get um, the seed. That he can't get the uh, Aragorn anytime soon. So we need to be extremely careful about the situation. Oh boy. <laughs> the, <laughs> You know, the Nazgul Airlines. 
taking over the castle from my ally. Oh boy. Oh, this is a horror. That's a horror, man. We need to force him to come back to us. We need to attack the Eisen Bees, okay? Let's go. Okay. The problem is, I need some combos in my allies' bees, but it might be too late for this. Because by the time I go there, I think... One combo is not going to be enough because he has two Nazgul's. Or one Nazgul and one Witch King. So it's going to be... I will be forced to make like three combos in there, you know? And I can't. I don't have that much money yet. Okay, we will deal a lot of economical damage though. And we need to keep this outpost from our ally protected. And yet now you see, he is forced to disengage. There are also some trolls we need to deal with very, very soon. Make more combos. And the outpost is here for us so good. We need to use Palantir for the resistance to fear. Shoot, 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 shoot. But there are more, com more. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, disengage. Disengage to the outpost. In the outpost, we have like more leadership. And also, the recovery there with the well, you know? Need more army, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to do. My ally actually can't even fight them because... You know, obviously there are two Nazgus and Witch King, what can you, what they can do against that? That's normal Rohirrim. He can't shoot the flying heroes like this, you know? I need to give industry to my ally boys. Look, he can't even afford to rebuild the Citadel, you know? He is pretty doomed. <laughs> He's so poor. Holy, okay. Hopefully industry is going to be quite helpful for him. Bro, just make peasants, man. I don't know why you don't pick peasants. Look, this guy doesn't understand it. I can make berserkers for him, but I need to walk a long distance, you know? No money? Yeah, I see that one, bro. I see how that you are broke. But you have no money. I can see that. Okay, we need to go again. We need to go again immediately, man. And always leave some reinforcements maybe at the, at the castle or at the outpost. Wait, Theodine. Kill the pikeman, please. Okay, we need to go now. We have like five combos, you know. That's pretty good. I want to get Saruman too, if I can, you know. If Warchant and Lourdes... Combine. Five combos. And I don't think they have that much to defend. Because I I saw the Eisen didn't have upgrades yet, you know? Oh man, this is hella annoying. So many orcs everywhere, you know? Okay. A war chanted, my friend. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he has darkness too. Oh my god. We have almost rain. Almost. Okay, the trolls are coming. Hit them by one by one. Disengage. Hit, 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 hit. We have so much. I mean, he has no drummer trolls, and Witch King was also too far away. They have only darkness leadership, which is not enough. This guy keeps me to VWC him, you know, to war chant him. Or is he trying to go to the toilet or something? I don't know what WC means. I already war chanted you, bro. <laughs> what a disaster, man. This is... Let's destroy this, please. Let's go back a little bit. Nah, actually, we don't need to go back. But I would like to have Saruman, you know, before committing. Beautiful trample in there. Oh, he got crippled with Theorin. Destroy this one. His combos from my from the enemy team have no drummer leadership. They have only Witch King. So we can keep fighting this. We have almost rain too. And Saruman also joining the battlefield. That's pretty good. Now we have rain. Beautiful. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. We are broke. I need to reclaim this. Come 
Hit this. Oh, you wanna buy this? Okay, my bad. Okay, now we need to kill this Nazgus. We have good leadership now. We have good army here. Lots of combos. Okay, we need to go back here. Let's use Palantir here in the run. Oh, we are losing so much. Holy. Okay, bring Saruman there also. Saruman is gonna be very good in the situation. And you see the combination of good and evil is so good because he's a well. And this is already such a big contribution to my army. Because that's the luckness. Uh, that's where the evil faction is lacking the most. In sustain. But that's why the combination of good and evil is so good, you know. Okay, Therion was able to survive. We just recover a bit. Then we can go for the finishing move. Oh boy, okay. He has a Mumo kill in there. Alright, I can't go there. We need to just go for the base swap. We need to just go for one one for one. My allies castle versus the castle of Aizen. Okay, let's go again. Alright, so that, that should be good now. I believe this with this push we should be able to destroy the castle. Because now we have Sarim. Oh boy. I don't want to watch this. Oh man. I hope we won't lose this game actually now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Need more combos. We can kill this Nazgul in a second now. In a second. Look the damage, boys. Pew, 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 pew. Three combos, you know. One of them being level three. Two of them being level three. All of them are being level three, actually. And Lord's got the last hit, too. That's like the best situation ever. Let's keep going. Oh, boy. <laughs> And he, uh, there was a mistake to go for Aragorn there, my friend. There was a huge mistake to go for Aragorn there. You just, you might need to rebuy your castle, you know? That's the, that's the thing. I mean, I can give him industry on, over and over again, but still. Towering up. Ah, uh, GG. Yeah, GG, GG, my friend. Okay, it's gonna be a 2v1 now, or it's gonna be a 1v1 now, because my ally lost the castle, and he has only one outpost remaining under his control. Oh, this guy's calling GG, but not leaving. Okay. My ally losing the second last uh, outpost. He lost the castle. Aragorn is there, though. Maybe we can help him a bit when I think about it. I would love to buy this castle, but I can't. I have no money for it. He's trying to defend this, okay? But we won't let him to, re to rebuild this. Okay, he's using Warchant. I'm gonna use Fireball here. Watch this. Boom, chakalaka. Oh man. Need help here, man. Destroy this cutter, please. Let's send them back to the outpost so they can recover. Get plates and everything. Go destroy the last remaining structure. We need to make sure that this Eisen is completely out of the game first, you know? Before we can do anything. He just crippled my... I'm gonna kill your lords, my friend. Oh, look, he's trying to go in, in with the carnage. No, 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 no. That ain't happening, bro. Okay, my ally has two outposts, but no castle. And I believe the Mordor has two castles now. He just pleased the last <laughs> land before he got defeated. Okay, that's good. We don't want this Mordor to get a Balrog, you know? there get map control very important 
Oh, never mind. These combos are not mine. It was funny because I stole the combos from the player who got defeated afterwards, and now the combos are there, but they don't belong to anybody. I like neutral. I'm gonna use industry on you, my friend. Where can I use it? There. Okay. <laughs> my ally is so poor. Holy. The problem is we can't really leave this outpost because if the outpost here falls, my ally will be defeated too. And it's gonna be a 1v1 one -one in a long map between Eisen and Mordor. And I, I don't like this, you know? Let's go, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In the meantime, get the whole map. I will leave combo. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it, bro. We have also Rhi now. That's pretty good. Kill the trolls. Slay them all. He can buy this outpost, actually. Buy this outpost. I can destroy this outpost. Only possible in patch 2.22 that you can destroy the Citadel. Which is good in those situations. Let's counter the darkness with the freezing rain. And go, 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 go. Let this push be the one push to rule them all. Man, buy this one. Go and kill the cutters. Destroy the cutters, bro. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice. I'm gonna use fireball. Take this. Troll. This Nazgus can't approach my heroes anymore because my Lourdes has damage leadership, we have Tyrion leadership, which is also damage, and Warchan, they have like 150% more damage. And if they ever get close to me, I will one shot them, you know? I'm gonna need to use the sword with Lourdes to destroy this one. Lourdes, go! Never mind, he has horses there, that's good. Witch King, look, Witch King, look, look, look. One, two. Oh, it's lagging now? He died in the leg, boy. In the leg. Okay. I think my ally is so broke. Look, look, look. Look what the mortar is trying to do, you know? Trying to go for the last outpost. No, 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 no. We ain't letting this unprotected, boy. But he bought this castle. <laughs> I believe he is so rich, you know? We need to deal with this outpost. We, need, we can split the army now a bit. Because we killed two of his flying heroes. It's a lagging, man. I'm not gonna wait here until we have 5k. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this one. Give it to me. Okay, my ally is getting kind of back into the game a bit. The three towers are doing good. Ma money is not a problem as we are talking. If also full population, it means we will be unwillingly saving money anyway. Which is pretty good. Um... Let's bring this to this location. We can't produce any more units anytime soon. But we go outpost for outpost. So that means, as we are talking, he has one outpost, uh, two outposts and one castle. Get the farm, bro. Nice. A level 10 crossbowman Urukai combo. So sexy, you know? Level 10 units. Boys, I'm telling you that much. They are hitting so incredible hard. Can we destroy this one? I think we can. Okay. Let's keep moving. Let's get this. And also... Oh, never mind. He has one more outpost in there. Okay. This is a goner. We can save them by putting them on the well. On the well. And we recapture this settlement. And we keep moving forward. Now, this piece from him is going to be very squishy. Because everything is going to be only level 1. We can destroy every structure in a few seconds. It's freezing from time to time, you know? March to Mordor, leave none alive. And my ally wanted to surrender this game. And my ally wanted to quit this game, you know? He called it GG, and now we end up winning anyway. It feels kind of good, man. It feels kind of good, man. Oh, I, I was not even paying attention killing by e-clicking an Nazgul. That's how strong our army is now. 
We have Aragorn, Theorin leadership, Saruman leadership, Lord's leadership, Warchant. We have everything. And the Baradur gets destroyed. The, the level 3 Lumber Mills are so tanky. Holy guacamole. And uh, I was afraid that he bought the base, but he didn't. It means if this falls, he will be defeated. And he's not calling it, boys. Two to EOD, yeah, I need like three power points to Balrog. Yeah, but GG my, GG, my friend, you wanted to quit? You wanted to quit? Never quit, never give up, never surrender. Come to me, my creatures. Victorious! Game stats will go here. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond Sanders. We are rank number three, by the way.